everybody, it's Jeff Bessa. Gonna do the race of the day for Friday, July 22nd. I had a couple races I could have picked from here. Um, if you're a subscriber, you'll see race five. I have a really good play in race five, um, but uh, decided to go with race six. Now, as you watch these videos, um, you see me pick 15 to one long shots. I think that horse ran second. Key to huge exacta. I've picked, you know, six, seven to one shots. I've picked a couple four to one shots, both one. Um, today I picked a chalk, probably going to go off about uh, seven, five, eight to five. I don't know the results of that race yet. And, you know, I'm trying to pick different horses. I want it to make it clear that you can go a lot of different directions in this, these charts. Okay. Today I'm very rarely, I, I'm going to do a maiden claiming race. Okay. These are hard races. Okay. You got a lot of horses dropping in class. You got a lot of horses rapidly improving. Um, that you know they make it tough, okay. But the race gets a bet score of three. It's eight furlongs on the dirt, and uh, this favorite is sitting on top, the four, got a good form cycle working for it and a good jockey trainer. But the horse has very little early speed. Um, probably will be sitting second or third early. Um, his energy overall is very average, does not fit the race great, although he does improve slightly on PFTS odds to best odds. He does get the A, but it's a weak A, very weak A and no value. And this is the kind of favorite you want to try to beat. Okay. By comparison, this three Tuesday's child, um, coming back off short rest, the jockey and trainer are pretty average, and that's probably going to help uh, the odds. But he's an F5. He's the only F in the race. Okay? This horse is going to get the lead. The early speed is also the best in the race. Now, a couple of these other horses that have these U's, unknowns, and they're you know racing second or third lifetime, they may improve quite a bit. They could also flash some speed. But, you know, this fit horse figures to get a very good trip, hopefully on or close to the lead, um, not losing much ground, and fits as a result of that, fits this race perfectly at 1.1. Has the lowest PFDS odds of 2.2, and the 4.7 for best odds is in the top four here, okay? It's, it, it actually ranks uh, um, second. 4.7, 4.74. This one's third. This one's second. This one's fourth. Um, so very competitive on best sides. And it's driving $17 of value when you look at this 5 to 1 morning line. I think we're going to get a good price because of this jockey trainer. The six, uh, the, obviously, this one's going to take some money. It's the fastest horse in the race at 80. Um, the seven might take uh, some money big closing kick you know probably stretching out a little bit looks like could improve i mean there's several horses in here i mean i like all these horses that get the letter grades but i'm going to key in on this three okay and key in means i'm definitely betting it to win um i would probably look to single in zero wagers with this three um and uh and then i would look to key the three under and over the 147 in exactus all right let's get this three home hope you guys are enjoying saratoga and we'll be ready for the saturday video tomorrow thanks